Well, today we are in mom and dad's kitchen and I'm going to be plastering their range hood behind me. I will flip you around and show you what we have, what we're working with. It's kind of a little hillbilly, but it's going to look beautiful. I did the same process at our farmhouse and we're going to do a combination of like a plaster, which we are going to be using Surecrete. It's a concrete top coating. So it's not, it's not plaster, but it looks plaster and we're going to be putting a raw wood beam around the bottom which i'll show you as well so i'm really excited to show you this process it's super easy uh, and like i said all of the measurements in the process has been trial and error so it's worked for us it looks beautiful and here's how we did it i had to take off the front panel just to show you what we are working with but basically we have a two by four structure we have two rectangle uh, pieces on the top and the bottom and that was the main anchor points uh, to this hood this hood so this top um, this top piece is 20 inches long and then this bottom piece was 29 inches long by 21 inches deep and we wanted a nice taper here on the side so you can kind of see it sloping up but then also from this side view we wanted it sloped as well so we had a nice little arch all the way around so once um once we figured out these two these two uh rectangular two by four pieces it was all a matter of figuring out how much of a slope um, they wanted and that kind of thing so you can kind of see dad jimmy rigged some one by ones and one by twos in there to kind of allow for that, that slope. And then underneath of this, he took a piece of sheet aluminum and cut it down and adhered it to the two by four structure. And then he installed the fan to kind of give it a nice refined finish underneath for easy cleaning as well. So what we're going to do is put the front panel back on uh, you can see that I already taped with painter's tape all around the sides. I'm going to mix up the Surecrete. I've used this Surecrete product uh, in multiple projects, one on our own uh, range hood and then also on the walls of our shop. So it feels very rustic European and I think it'll be a nice little touch in here that will kind of uh, make the whole kitchen kind of feel the rustic cabin that they're looking for. All right, well, Dad screws in the, the front panel. The top rectangle that he went with was 15 inches deep by 20 inches across. And that, ta that tapered down to 21 inches deep by 29 inches long. So that gave him the look that they are wanting. Um, and they have eight foot ceilings here in the kitchen. And the other measurement I wanted to talk about was 29 inches roughly, I believe, from the bottom two by four to their counter height. So I think that'll be really nice. So he's just screwing this, this panel back on. Like I mentioned, we have the painter's tape. We got a rustic piece of wood downstairs. It's like an old uh, barn wood uh, slab that we're going to be cutting and uh, tapering to go around the bottom here. So it'll look exactly like ours at home uh, with the plaster on top and then the wood beam around the bottom. So it'll be nice and rustic. Um, and then this little, this little gap, I'm, I think I'm just going to um, taper up with some blue painter's tape. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Once we have that concrete um, top coating on, it'll harden and I don't think it'll be an issue. Um, that also just suggested maybe just using some um, drywall corner bean. Tape. Yeah. Tape. Oh, drywall tape. I just got all of our Surecrete mixed up. Um, and basically the only materials you're gonna need is your bag of Surecrete. I like to have multiple little spatulas, plastic spatulas, I should say. Um, these are used for, I don't know, scraping or whatever. But the key to having plastic is so that it can bend. So whenever you're applying the Surecrete to whatever you're applying it to, either a wall or paneling like this, um, that it, it bends, it's easier just to smear onto whatever you're applying it to. So I just mixed up this powder Surecrete with some water and basically you just want it to a consistency 
of a thick pancake mix. And so what we're going to do is get our ladder here. And we're gonna start smearing it on. It's a messy project, so make sure you have the proper things underneath. So whenever you drip, like I just did, it's not gonna ruin anything. You don't want it perfect. Just want to get it on there. And this covers all of the imperfections, just like these nail holes. So that's why it's not super important that it's absolutely pristine. But I have a whole YouTube tutorial on how to do a wall that might have uh, more tips as well that I will link down below. So we're just going to go through and I'm going to put the shirtcrete all over their hood. I'm just finishing up here on the front end and it's gonna take multiple coats, which was to be expected. But basically I like it to be thick enough that way it doesn't run off of the paneling. And then once this first coat dries, will come through maybe with a thinner, um, a thinner layer and that'll kind of cover in the spots where it's a little bit lighter. Um, I'll probably do like a thicker coat here where the blue tape was. Um, but once it, once it dries, it'll harden really nicely. Um, we shouldn't experience too much cracking or anything like that. Um, in which case I had a little bit of cracking on mine on the seams where I put them together. Um, on ours at home. I think that was just due to the temperatures between the seasons. But I just went in with a thinner coat and kind of covered over any of those cracks. So I'm going to do the sides here the same way. And basically you're just building up where it meets and you don't want it to be too perfect. You want it to look artisan. I just finished the first coat of the shirkery and it looks really good. Um, over here, I had to fill in some of the edge gaps and I think the tape is gonna work just fine. Um, so now once this first coat dries, I can go back and fix any of the imperfections. You can see right here, it needs um, just a little bit more to cover the paneling and I'm gonna have to cover some of the painter's tapes there on the edges, but I think overall the, the first coat did really, really well, and it didn't take near as much shirkrete as I thought it would take. You can see that I left the bottom like five to six to seven inches bare because that is where our wood is gonna be going. So I left that uncovered, that way the wood could kind of screw in or nail in um, just fine. I am just filling in the edges to where it meets the ceiling and I'm gonna try and finish these joints because I want to rip off the blue tape before it dries too too much that way it doesn't rip the tape with it so I just finished that so let's get to pulling that off before it dries too too much that gives us a nice clean edge. Six and a half inches uh, tall, and then it will sit maybe like, um, maybe an eighth of an inch past, just to kind of help cover uh, the, the little stick out piece here of the, the fan. So he's gonna go cut that. He's gonna miter the ends to 45 degrees on both sides so it has a nice crisp edge on the corners. 
Otherwise, it looks super good. I just have to finish um, some of the seams where you can see the blue tape, but that'll be a nice little finishing touch. And then this project should be wrapped up. Well, it's a new day and I wanted to let the hood kind of dry overnight, um, but dad did get up the wood piece last night and it looks so good. Some of the edges where the, the blue tape was did crack, of course, and you can kind of see how much that moves. So what I did was just mixed up um, just a little bit of the surecrete with water, kind of made it a nice little consistency. And so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger without trying to get this all over the wood and I'm just going to kind of mend that crack and hopefully with over time it'll just kind of it'll be fine you know the good thing about the hood is that it's not going to be moving a lot so I'm expecting a little bit to crack uh, with the seasons kind of like ours at home but it's honestly a really easy fix with just mixing up a little bit and mending that crack. All right, we just wrapped up the project and I think it looks so pretty, especially all stylized. The project, just plastering and adding the wood took several hours last night. Um, and I think it looks so pretty. It's that rustic refined look that we are looking for here at mom and dad's house. Um, as far as finishing the, the hood out, you could take a matte poly to the plaster in the wood if you wanted to protect it a little bit more since it is above the hot oily uh, foods. Totally up to you. Uh, we did ours about a year ago and we still have never sealed, sealed the wood or the plaster um, and it's holding up just fine. So totally up to you. I think it looks beautiful. It is the perfect addition to this kitchen of mom and dad's. Um, and if you have any other questions that I didn't cover, leave them below and thanks for following. Mm -hmm.